Hey, welcome to my channel. And this time I would like to talk about the uh, JH Audio uh, later. And maybe a bit about the NG. Because uh, I tried it both of um, the demo in Hong Kong uh, a few days before. And the Layla just sounds awesome. But <laughs> it's so expensive. And um, meanwhile, I'm still waiting for my uh, CM version of the Roseanne. I also like the Roseanne very much. I um, personally I got the uh, Universal Fit version, but then I just I love it so much, and then I sold my uh, Universal Fit, and then I'm now waiting for my CM version. But it just takes so long time to make, right? But um, yeah, actually at that time when I uh, pay for my CM Roseanne, the uh, the later. The news of later uh, what's already released it, but I, but I still want to give it a try, like because um, I still like Rusen, uh, and I'm thinking maybe the later have a completely different tuning, different tastes, I might not like it. But then <laughs> it ends up after I listen to the demo, I'm kind of regrets, cause, cause it just sounds very awesome, and I also like later's tuning. And um, well, compared to the Rosanne, the Layla it's um, like um, the tuning of Layla is more more neutral compared to Rosanne. It's not that warmish, not that dark. It become um, a little bit brighter and clearer. Um, the sound stage of Layla it's definitely huge. It's a, just a one step up from Rosanne. Rosanne is already uh, already like a Having a very big sound stage that uh, it's like you listening to uh, a big headphone, but then later it's it sounds like sometimes you're listening to a speaker, you know, speaker. It it just extended so well. It's very 3D, and um, the vocal of later it's also like um, uh, a bit more upfront. Uh, more close to you compared to Roseanne it's more clear the texture is also clear and it's a little bit thicker like more f ha having more flash <laughs> I mean um, and um, the uh, the base of Layla it's uh, quite different from Roseanne because Roseanne is like having a very very um, um, huge and strong bass but when um later it's like more more slim feels like it's not that big kind of bass but it's cleaner it has more texture yeah it, it just have more details in the later it has tremendous detail on everything and um the later still has that kind of uh, you know uh, when you're listening to Roseanne you have that kind of uh, slightly hazy background soundings like a little bit blurry but but in fact you can still hear uh, a lot of details from it but uh, later still had that kind of background but just slightly um, not as much as Rosen so it feels cleaner but it's not it it's still not feels like transparent like other uh, top of the line like the K10 or yeah something like that and um and um the positioning and the layering that um uh, from the Roseanne it's also much better and uh maybe almost the best I've ever heard and um what the wait <laughs> yep let's continue and yeah I think that's it cause I, I've listened to it for like um an hour so uh I can just give some very short impression on it but it's truly stunning I think but for the NG um, I'm that's not really sounds good to me because it's uh, the NG really focus on the vocal it's it's warm it's um bass is um, uh, tends to Rosanne kind more than later so um, but it doesn't really feels very outstanding 
but you see the price of NG is much cheaper than the others so I think that's it if some someday I got that later I will definitely do an unboxing and review on here so uh, thanks for your watching and please subscribe